भयानक मौत इज वेंकीज बेबी ही ही केम इन टू द स्टूडियो विद द सॉन्ग लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम अगो भयानक मौत वाज इनिशियली कॉल्ड भयानक मौत द वर्किंग टाइटल फॉर द सॉन्ग वाज भयानक मौत एंड इट केम अबाउट बिकॉज आई वाज इन माय हेड थिंकिंग अबाउट माय फियर्स ऑफ माय फियर्स व्हेन इट कम्स टू डाइंग दिस सॉन्ग वाज माय अटेम्प्ट एट कैप्चरिंग दैट फियर इट रीक्स ऑफ वेंकी which is great because he has this signature uh, oh fuck i'm going to die my life is over <laughs> vibe to his songs and i really love it 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 reminds me of uh, some late 90s uh, melodic metal <laughs> it took about 2 years to write the song uh, from our initial demos because we had the initial three riffs and then the, we just hit a wall like i i'd end up hitting a wall uh, that be uh no inspiration baba wrote the song a long time ago i remember and i remember when i heard the song for the first time i was really and i mean really obsessively listening to meshuga i so i think that directly translated into how i was approaching that song inspiration for the uh for the growth of the song came from the fact that what if you change the mood now and kind of work with delays and and a more arpeggiated part uh as as the center of the song uh, as the bridge so to say and once that happened uh the song flowed uh, easily into the final outro which is like this uh aggressive version of a new metal breakdown that that sort of jumpy vibe so to say it's a while while it it's it's got this jumpy vibe it's also it's got this thing of dragging you down uh, uh to your demise so that was that that's when i knew that we had we had the song so with wenki more often other always very feel oriented parts when i heard that riff and it came and he played it out It's always the case when I it's a Venki song I I know exactly what it is that his song requires and I can put that part down This is a pretty straightforward song I mean um, great it's one of those uh, simpler but kickass songs in my opinion Not, nothing too complex just some fun riffage It took me a long long time to wrap my head around Bhayanak Mot What surprised me the most and what I was honestly apprehensive about and of all the songs after it and everything this according to me was the the weakest song on the set I think it's only after the the song was recorded um that I heard it a whole bunch of times and I understood why the song is the way it is and in this band that's one thing I've learned it's if I feel a certain way about something and if someone else is asked the same thing they bring in something very different into that same identity or same context that makes it bhayanak mot and that's exactly what happened when vinay and sunny went and tracked their vocal parts that just super glued the song together it just made complete sense then i like it i like the song it's 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 what it is it's not uh, i wouldn't say that there are uh, the oh look out for this this part in the song or that part in the song the song as a whole is is what it is and you you remember the song as it is and not just sections of the song i think what's interesting is uh, there's there was a lull section in the second half of the song which i did i had no idea what to do about so i was initially just sort of trying to mirror the guitar line and trying to figure out playing single single notes trying to add melody and then we just it was not working and we decided to put we came up with this uh, slap pop section which again i mean one would think a slap pop section is there to accentuate like a heavy section or a or a locking section but this is a lull and we it just it, it didn't make any sense but it just it was working so we put that slap pop section there and immediately after we added this high octave uh, driven sort of bass drone section which really something as musicians live that i think we've never done before which is right a sort of clean section you know bhayanak mot song and it came quite naturally to all of us like we 
the song is on a high it's on a high it builds up to this crescendo and then suddenly it just takes this dip and it comes into a nice lush clean section there's an impossible drum section in bhayanak math which I, i do not know how rahul managed to track it but there's um in in the latter half of the song just before the outro kicks in there's one 195 bpm blast section which is just the most metal thing you can hear uh it's a very simple song it, it didn't uh, really wanted to have multiple layers but it's just very straight up it's a very simple serial killer story which complements the song very well i feel i think even before the concept of the song it was somewhere sunny just woke up one day and told us hey, we have got to write a song that's called by anak mat that's it and so a song title was declared even before there was a song and then poor venki had no option but to name whatever song that came next as bhayanak mat uh, but sunny chose to keep bhayanak mat for for the title i mean it it was not intended to be some sort of expression of who we are and it just just fits the story perfectly the story is about the raggedy man he is he is this guy who dwells uh, underground by a sewer and uh, without giving too much away to, uh, without giving too much away from the story it's uh, it's this guy who kidnaps children for uh, for reasons that you will uh, know once you read the story but when i read the story it just it's it's a perfect rendition of my fear as as the story Bec- because that's the ru- uh, that was the running theme in the in the song so what what better than seeing what i'm afraid of and it was drowning it is drowning rather it's uh, death by drowning <laughs> i did not know this this is brand new information i don't know how to process it <laughs> throw water <laughs> i i just now came to know that baba can't swim a eh? <laughs> he's afraid of water and uh, the song the, the story has a good uh, it has a water element <laughs> to it so i just hope that elevated baba's phobia to another level i think i think if that happens i'm a happy man <laughs> i don't care if the album doesn't release it's just just want baba to be very uncomfortable <laughs> इसलिए नहाता नहीं है तू